So today I'm going to be trying to make Barbie's perfect day dress for me and my Barbie. This is the fabric that I'm using, 100% cotton. The one that I'm making my dress, it's with a larger gingham print. And then for the Barbie, it's with a smaller gingham print. So the one for my dress, I found at my local fabric store. And this other one, I got it from Amazon. And all the links for everything that I'm going to be using will be linked in the description. So feel free to check it out. I'm first going to be making my dress and then at the end, my Barbie's dress. I'm going to be doing on the floor because it's just the best option right now. So I got around three meters of fabric. So hopefully it's going to be enough for the dress. So I'm just going to measure my bust real quick. So 92 centimeters. So I'm going to be using a spaghetti strap top. This one, I'm pretty sure everyone has one like this at home. I have this one that it's very similar to the shape of the dress here at the top, just for the front. So we can follow the shape like this. And also at the back because it's actually straight. So we can actually use this top, but remembering that this fabric is not stretchy like this top. So we have to keep that in mind. So I'm going to be folding my fabric in half so I can cut two pieces at the same time. This is what I'm going to be using now, pins, fabric scissors and some kind of pen, pencil, chalk that you can use to do the tracings. I'm getting now nervous. So yeah. And now I'm going to be folding my fabric this way. So you're going to take your bust circumference and then divide it by two minus 46. So 92 divided by 46. This is enough and then I have a little bit for the seam at the back. So I'm going to take my top now, fold it. So I have the front of the top folded just like my fabric. And then I'm going to place right on top of my fabric. And then here we can just follow the lines and then just go all the way to the back. So now we need to know the length that we want for the top. So just roughly measure from under the armpit, like about here, for example, all the way to your waist. So my waist is right here. So it's about 23 centimeters. We wanna add two centimeters on that or a little bit more just to be sure. So I'm going to be doing around 25, 26. So now from this back line, we can actually measure the length. And now I'm just going to do some tracing so I can cut the bottom here. We can now cut the fabric. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's go for it. Let's, let's just do it. So this is how it looks like, and it seems like it's a bit too rounded. Just gonna fold it again. I'm going to fold the top here and then just make it a, just a tiny little bit less round. So this is how it looks like, just removed about one centimeter from here, the neckline, and also removed the points on the straps. So I have now two fabrics for the top and just go ahead and get one. And we want to pin this exactly where it's going to go because we need to do the little darts here. So once you have it pinned at the top, you want to roughly pin at the back. Try not to pin myself. There we go. <laughs> And now we want to pin the dart in place, just following our body shape, like our bust and waist. Just pin it. It's going to work. Just trust the process. <laughs> Ooh, 
I don't want to move because I have pins all over. So now we have to do the same to the other fabric. Once I have this, we can then sew the dart in place. So that's what I'm going to do in my sewing machine. Just as a little disclaimer, I don't have any sewing experience or anything like that. I know everything that I know because of my auntie. She taught me and this is little things that I know. That's why I know how to sew a little bit. So yeah, you have to follow exactly where the pins are starting here with nothing of sewing. And then you're going to kind of follow that doing a little curve, the curve of the pins. And I'm going to be doing that to all the four darts that we have to do. Look at it. This is so nice. So before we sew these two together, we are going to be making the strap so that we can just do one entire sewing and just have the top of the dress completed. So for what I can see, it's very simple tying straps that we just make little bows on top of our shoulders. You have a little bit for the strap and then for the bow and then the end of the bow. So I'm gonna do 45 centimeters. So you're also gonna have to choose the thickness of the strap. I am basically going to be doing one square all the way up, just following the little squares that I have here. 50 centimeters, it's right here. So I'm going to just cut four rows of squares here. Cut across all the way to the end. So now I'm going to be cutting all the rows. So now I'm going to be using my iron so that we can fold and iron the piece so that it's easier to sew later. And I'm going to be doing that with all my pieces. You're going to be sewing into the opening. So you're going to sew all the way across. And then when you get to the end, you're going to be sewing one of the ends close. Well, the one that you are right here at the end. So I'm going to be repeating the same to all my pieces. You want to insert your tool. So this is the one that I use. So just try and kind of rotate the fabric so you can see the little tube. As you can see, just push it inside. And now you're just going to keep pushing and pushing. So as you can see, when, when you have it in, it just goes really easily. Now remove the tool and turn your strap inside out. So before sandwiching everything together, we have to just check where the back straps are going to go. So I'm going to just pin roughly my top here at the front. And then I'm going to be pinning the front strap here at the front. And now we can take this to the back, nice and straight, following this strap, it's where the other one is gonna go. So I'm gonna go now to the mirror, choose a place and pin, adding a little pin there, and that's where the back strap is gonna go. So, right here. Found it! <laughs> So you're going to get the very first piece, lay it nice and flat with the right side facing up. So now you want to get the four straps. So I am doing the lighter ones at the front and the darker ones at the back. Also with the strap, you will see that the raw edge, they are going to go into the sewings. And then you have the nicer side that we've turned already at the top and we are going to be having the finishing nice and done. So I'm going to be adding the ones at the front like this and the ones at the back I'm going to be adding into row 11 following here the armpit to the back. I'm going to place the other side on top making sure that we have right side 
facing right side. And now I'm going to be pinning first the straps in place so that they are not going to be moving around. All right, so once you have the straps pinned in place, we can now sew all the way around basically and just leave the bottom open because we don't need to sew the bottom because we are going to be attaching the skirt here at the bottom. So I'm going to sew from one side all the way across to the other. So when I get here towards the strap, all I'm gonna do is sew very close to this side of the strap, go across and then go down following the other side of the strap and then continuing. So that is going to be very nice and narrow and is going to follow the shape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous because I'm not a sewer, okay? Okay, I just love doing it. <laughs> so let's turn inside out and see what happened. This is going to be nice, of course, because it's just like straight down. Now here... Okay, let's see it together. Let's see it together. Oh my... Oh my goodness! This is perfection. Wait, did I say I'm not a sewer? I think I am now. <laughs> so the other one. No way! This is perfection! Not like 100%, but like 90%. That's good. So I'm just going to maybe just tie a little bit the strap here. No way! I'm gonna have to look in the mirror. Oh my goodness! This is pretty good! All right, so basically my top is completed. Nice. So now I'm going to be doing the skirt. So measuring around my waist now you want it to be comfortable and not too tight because we are going to be adding the belt around it so i'm going to be doing 74 centimeters and then you want to measure the length that you want for the skirt so from waist to where you want the skirt to stop i'm going to be doing 60 centimeters so once you know those two measurements, waist and length, we can now start making the skirt. So let's begin first by doing the pleats. So we need to leave a little bit of fabric for the sewing. So I'm going to be leaving this very first square here for the sewing. So I'm going to fold here. So I know that I have this at the beginning. So let's leave that there. And now we have to start with the pleats. So we are going to be doing box pleats. So maybe we can do one, two, three, three and four, we can fold upwards like so. And then we can fold to the left and then pin. And then we can leave three squares maybe for the pleat because it's quite large, the pleats. So three, so counting from here, one, two, three, fold three and four upwards and then to the right. So I'm basically following the squares here and then folding one on top of the other, just so that we have a really nice and seamless fold. So one, two, three, four. So three and four again. All right, we might have to repeat that sequence. And then we are going to put them together like this. And now we can pin. Nice! That looks nice! The next one we have to do the same as the second one that we did. So one, two, three. So we get three and four. Fold upwards and to the right. And then we pin. So now just keep on repeating the same steps here with the pleats until you have the sizing of your waist circumference. I'm going to be repeating here until I have 74 centimeters. 
Remember to add some seam allowance as well, so around two centimeters in total. Now it's measuring about 78, 79 centimeters. So I'm going to stop right here because I have enough for the sewing of the zip at the back and for the waist. So I'm going to cut exactly the same as the beginning. So I'm going to leave two squares at the end here. I'm going to cut it right here and all the way down to the length. So from the top to 60 centimeters, so it's about here. So I'm going to leave just a little bit more so we have enough for like the hemming and everything. So I'm going to cut about 67. So about here. So I'm going to do a straight sewing one centimeter down all the way to the other side, just attaching all the pleats together before I show you because I don't want any pins falling. So I'm going to do that now. So just finished the sewing of the pleats and removed the pins and it looks like this. I have now the top and the bottom of the dress. So now it's when you have to choose the waist of the dress. So I'm going to be putting on the reverse. So the right side it's towards me so that I can just pin exactly where I want it to be. So a skirt also with the right side facing my body. We just have to find exactly where the skirt is gonna go so we can sew both together. So I'm gonna do exactly around my waist. I think this is a good place for the skirt to sit. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to cut all this basically. So I'm just going to be cutting two centimeters down for something I wanna do. I'm going to show you closer later, but just cutting two centimeters down so we have the seam allowance. And we have to find the middle of the skirt. So I'm going to just add a pin into the middle. Let's fold and find the middle of the top as well. So I'm going to be using the iron now. Fold all the way around and we are going to iron exactly where we have to do this border that we are doing next. And then when we put them together and with the skirt inside it, it's going to give the cutest little finishing ever. The right side facing down and also the same with the skirt. So the reverse is facing up. So get some pins. We can open the top, the two fabrics. We can place the skirt exactly in the center like this and then put the other fabric right on top folded and now we can pin here down and now just repeat the same to both sides pinning this down in place and sandwiching the skirt into the top So now we can just sew that in place. So I'm going to be sewing across, joining everything together, skirt and the two layers of the top. So this is how it looks like after attaching the top with the bottom, looking really nice. So I'm going to try it on and see how it looks. Look, oh my God. You're just gonna try the dress like so, with the back at the front. So we can basically pin the zip exactly in place and we can leave like enough seam allowance and all that good stuff. And because I still need to cut the excess here, so I wanna make sure that I leave enough. So I'm going to be pinning first right at the top on both sides. And now you can just open 
and then you can just fold and pin, fold and pin all the way to the end as you wish. So I'm going to close the zip now. Yeah, that is pretty good. I'm going to try to sew as close as possible to the zip. So yeah, this is how I usually attach and pin first my zip and now I'm just going to sew it in place. So yeah. So just finished attaching the zip. Was a little nightmare, I'm not gonna lie because I don't know how to to do this properly but I think I did a good job. I did also close the dress here at the back all the way down and right after finishing the zip I've added zigzag stitching into all the edges that was raw here at the back. It's so nice and even at the top and also here so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be doing the length of my dress 53 centimeters and that's without the seam allowance so I have to add one or two centimeters for the seam allowance so we can just double fold and hem all the way around so that's what I'm gonna do so I've pinned that one so I'm going to cut now exactly where I have to fold double fold pin everything iron it and hem So now is the next day and the last thing that I'm going to be doing will be the waistband. So I'm going to be using a little bit of the fabric. This is actually the fabric that I cut from the length of my dress. And then I'm also going to be using this buckle. I couldn't find any that was very similar to the one that they've used for the dress. And then also to close the because I'm not going to make a belt, I'm going to actually just make like a waistband that we can close at the back. I'm going to be using these snap fasteners so we can just snap at the back and then it's going to be nice and secure around the waist. And yeah, that's it. So the first thing is to measure the inside of the buckle. Mine is four centimeters. So that is the sizing of the waistband that I'm going to have to do. So 74 divided by two, that is 37. I have my fabric folded as you can see so I'm just going to cut half of it. So let's measure 37. I'm going to be adding about four centimeters more in total. Then I'm going to cut right here. So my waistband has to be four centimeters so I'm going to double that. So eight centimeters in total so that we can fold. Remembering to leave a little bit for the seam allowance so about nine centimeters in total. So now I'm going to do exactly the same that I did for the strap. So I'm going to fold in half. I'm going to sew the side, the shorter side, and then all the way across. And then we are going to flip this inside out. I'm going to first choose exactly how I want it. So I want the square to be right at the front like this. And then I'm going to just fold a little bit the end inside the band. And then I'm going to just sew very closely to the edge, just so it closes that opening. So now I'm going to hand sew the snap fasteners in place. I'm going to be adding two, so one at the top and one at the bottom, like so. Now let's make the bow, in which is supposed to be easy. So yeah, let's make that. <laughs> so this is roughly measuring 18 centimeters by 25 and a half. So I'm going to be folding it in half and then I'm going to be sewing all the way around leaving a little 
opening so we can flip inside out so we make the bowl double and it looks nice and puffy so that is going to be for the bow and i'm also going to be doing the sewing of that and turning and ironing and everything so this one it's measuring 33 by 13 and also i'm going to be doing a very tiny band to go around the bow oh maybe we can do this one i think so we can just fold it like this so i'm going to be doing one two three four squares and i'm also going to be sewing it and turning inside out So for the bottom of the bow, I forgot that we had to do it diagonally. So I'm just going to cut. You can see I have the folding like so. And then I'm just going to cut it like this. And then for the sewing, you are going to be doing both sides. And then the top here, then leaving just one little opening right here in the middle so you can turn inside out. So now let's put the bow together. So I'm just going to scrunch the middle here in kind of like a zigzag. And then I'm just going to hold and I'm going to sew that in place. I'm going to do two sewings. So I'm going to now scrunch the center of this bottom. It's right here, this bottom band also in a zigzag and then I'm going to be sewing here at the bottom of the bow back and forth and then fasten off and then add the middle band so I'm going to wrap it around and cut what I need And I'm going to sew this in place here at the back. And to secure this in your hair, you're just going to be adding a bobby pin or any kind of clip you have going around this little band in the middle here in the center of the bow. So here's the bow, the cutest thing ever. Look at it. This is my first time sewing a bow and it's this cute. So I'm super happy. This is just the cutest thing. So now I'm going to be making the dress and the bow for my Barbie because we are going to be matching. Okay, Barbie? So first, just like my dress, I'm going to be making the top of the dress first. So I'm going to first measure the bust of my Barbie. So it's 13 centimeters. And then the length, I'm going to be making roughly three centimeters. 13, leaving a little bit for the seam allowance. So I'm going to do about 15 centimeters. And then three centimeters, I'm going to be probably doing about five. So let me cut another piece exactly like this one. All right, now I'm going to put it together and fold this in half like this. And I'm going to be pinning so it's not going to be moving around because we need to cut the armpit and the neckline all together and the same for both pieces so i'm just going to pin so the fabric is not going to move around so the folding is going to be the neckline maybe from this square round let's just go for it from here round to that square there that looks good <laughs> i think so now from here we are going to cut it around for the armpit and all the way down and i'm going to be cutting just a little bit the point that we did by just going around it just living nice and straight so now we can remove the pin and check how it looks 
Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Oh, that is nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using three rows of squares and just like folding it like so and making a very thin strap from here to here, about five centimeters. So it's about five centimeters. So I'm going to be doing seven just in case. So I'm gonna do 14 in total here. So it didn't work in the sewing machine. So I'm going to try to just fold both ends and then just do it by hand. So I'm going to cut it in half because I'll need two. Then I'll do one and then the other. So it looks like this. You can actually see a little bit the stitches going across, but I don't mind it because it's quite cute. So now to sew everything. So I'm going to have one piece first of the top and then I'm going to be pinning the strap into where the strap here at the front is going to go. And then same to the other side. So now I'm going to be placing the other piece right on top and I'm just going to be sewing the strap in place. So now I'm just going to kind of rotate the strap like so and then pinning and attaching that in place. I know that I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six on row number seven from this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm going to just put all of the pieces together and then just sewing that here in place. And now I have to find a way of sewing without catching the strap. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to do it by hand because I don't think I can do this in my sewing machine because then I can just like move the strap around and then just follow all the little curves that we have here. So I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm going to be starting on this side go all the way around the top here and then the other side, leaving the bottom open. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. Look at this. So let's see. Oh, look at it. This is perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to now try to zigzag stitch all this. So I'm going to be doing the darts now because I'm already here. And now we can just do two little darts, one here and one here. So I'm going to try and pin that. So I'm just going to do right here at the bottom, just like a straight line down. So this is the reverse. Oh, this looks good. Let's see on her. Okay, this is quite nice. Oh, this is so nice. So now I have to make the skirt. So we have to make the pleats to fit here the top. Let's just check. Yeah, okay, this is good. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to now cut two rows to the side or three, maybe around here, down. And now we have to also choose the sizing that we want for the length of the skirt. So I'm gonna do about 10 centimeters down. Yeah. 
yeah this is enough and then we have just a little bit for the hemming as well so I'm going to now sew this in place I think this I can do in the sewing machine and then I can just attach both together So now I'm going to be doing the waistband of the dress and I actually found this on Amazon. It's just a little set of ribbon buckle and look at it. It's just exactly the same as the one in my dress. The sizing will be the sizing of Barbie's waist and I'm going to be attaching on both sides as well of the waist so we don't have to add around the waist. It's going to be attached already with the dress. Oh, this is so cute. Look at it. <laughs> so now I'm going to try it on her. Turn here at the back and see until where I can sew here. Okay. So now I'm going to be turning here on the reverse, putting it together. I'm going to then pin both sides. And now I'm going to be sewing here at the back from where I've pinned all the way down. And then I'm going to be double folding and hemming the skirt here at the bottom all the way around. And then if it's quite bad here with the raw edge, I'm just going to zigzag stitch just so we have like a nice and clean finish. So I have these round Velcros that I bought to make Barbie clothes. So I'm going to just cut it in half. Place it exactly where I want to do the velcro, for example, here and here. And then I can just sew that down. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so finished with the sewing of the velcro, and it's actually so good maybe we can add another one right in the middle so that it closes really nicely like this so i might add another one right in the middle but the velcro does work so i wanted to do a tiny bow for my barbie as well so i've tried my best to do it and i did it i think i did a really good job because it turned out super cute and as you can see i haven't done any sewing around the bow i just did it with the raw edges and it worked because it's so tiny so it would be very very hard to like sew and turn inside out and everything so I just did with the raw edge and it turned out super cute. Also, as you can see, I have hacked <laughs> a little pin for attaching the bow into my Barbie's hair. So I've used a paper clip. I've cut a little bit of the wire, folded the wire, and then with that, I'm basically going to be putting around the bow and into my Barbie's hair. So yeah, that's what I did. And that was the last thing that I had to do. Now let's go and do the grand review of both outfits. So now it's the next morning, right after finishing both outfits. I made them in less than 24 hours. How incredible and quick was that? And it turned out so cute. I cannot wait to share with you guys. So first I'm going to show you how the dress and the bow looks on my Barbie. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at the tiny bow. This is so cute. I'm just gonna pin that right on top of my Barbie's hair. I also did half up, half down for her hair, exactly like mine. I'm kind of ready 
just to put on my outfit and the shoes. I'm ready to go to the movies. I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I did it. She looks so cute. It fits her perfectly. Also, I love the buckle. Oh my goodness, look at the buckle. So yeah, this is how Barbie looks like with her dress and her tiny little bow. Look at the bow. I think she looks stunning. So cute. So now I'm going to try my outfit on. Here's my dress. It's so pretty. Look at the back. Oh my. What? I made a dress. This is the cutest thing. All right, so now let's put on the belt. Look with the belt. It's just perfection. This is, I cannot believe I made it. Be happy dance, cause I'm so happy. So now I'm going to be. Oh my God. Am I going to look like Barbie now? like Barbie now oh well we have to walk like this right if we want to be Barbie hi Barbie so me and Barbie we are now ready for our perfect day because we are wearing our perfect day outfit we have matching everything so yeah this is how our outfits turned out me and Barbie we are now ready to go to the Barbie movie right Yes, Barbie. <laughs> I had, my goodness, so much fun doing this. I think my favorite part was trying everything on because I just felt like a Barbie every time I've tried something new on, like the dress, the belt, the bow, the petticoat. Like, I just feel like a Barbie right now. So I am bursting with excitement right now. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this journey with me trying to make something that I never made before. I never sewed anything like this before. It's actually my first time sewing something so difficult. I would say that this is quite difficult for someone that doesn't know how to do anything, like doing the darts and everything is not 100% perfect, but like it turned out so good. I like it. And it's always good to try different things as well, different crafts. If you are a crafty person like me, I love trying different things. And I had a lot of fun trying this. I want to do more sewing projects. Let me know if you want to see more sewing projects like this one. Maybe we can do for both me and Barbie. And we have many outfits, right? Matching outfits. You know, the hardest thing in a video is to say goodbye. I never know how to begin. Or how to say goodbye because I don't really want to leave because I love just being here with you guys. Right, Barbie? We love being here. So, yeah, this is it for today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed this journey, this sewing journey with me. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because. I'm gonna have a lot more videos like this. Not only crochet, but knitting. Oh well, now I got a knitting machine. So I have many different videos that I wanna do for you guys, so yeah. And I really hope you enjoy this crafty person's journey. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Barbie. Bye everyone. Bye, Barbies. <laughs> we look so cute. 
dance, dance the night away. <laughs>